Meanwhile, several residents are still waking up without power this morning after the severe storm swept through the area, knocking down power lines. Yeah, the storms also left behind dozens of downed trees and damaged buildings. And Good Day's Mark Tigner picks up our coverage. He joins us live this morning from Cherokee County. Mark, good morning. And what are you seeing there? Well, a lot better situation right now than we saw just about a half hour ago. It was a mess. Uh, basically, the northern part of the county is extremely hazardous when it comes to driving conditions, especially during the overnight hours when it is still dark out. Uh, the reason for that is so many trees uh, came down uh, that you come across them as you're driving down the road. Uh, there are a number of roads that are still blocked and still completely closed off, but even the roads that are open have number of trees that have come down that are blocking sometimes entire lanes of traffic. So you really have to take it slow uh, as you're going out there. Uh, I was trying to get to an abandoned gas station that had its awning uh, blown over and it took me four different tries to be able to find a road that was open to be able to get uh, to uh, the old country food store located on Land Road. Uh, when we did, you could see the awning had been blown over. Uh, as far as the driving conditions, making them even worse was the fog that we were encountering during the overnight hours. And then this this new round of storms that came through that Joanne was talking about. Uh, the vivid lightning was bouncing all over the place, too dangerous for us to get out of the vehicle. Uh, some very heavy rain leaving to a lot of ponding that was on the road, making, again, driving conditions much worse. Now, the good news is it seems like the storm has pushed a little bit past, as you can see. Don't even have an umbrella out right now. Uh, but it is definitely slow going when it comes to driving here in Cherokee County, at least until the sun comes up. Uh, so that's something we definitely want to encourage everyone. Reporting live from Cherokee, I'm Mark Teichner for Good Day Atlanta. Back to you guys.